Thank you for joining me in this tutorial today. I'm going to show you a another cast on. We are going to do a cable cast on, which if you looked at the tutorial on how to do a knit cast on, it's very, very similar. We've got our slip knot on our left needle. We're going to go in to that slip knot. We're going to go from the left and out through the back. We're going to do we're going to wrap that yarn, working yarn around counterclockwise and we're going to pull up a loop, twist it, set it back on and that's where it's exactly the same. Now, if you remember from a knit cast on, we would go into the stitch and make our next loop. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to go between the stitches. So I'm going to insert my needle completely between the stitches. I'm going to wrap my yarn around counterclockwise and I'm going to pull that loop from between the stitches and then I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to twist it and I'm going to set it back on to the left needle and again I'm going to go between the stitches. I'm going to wrap counterclockwise and I'm going to pull that through. Lift it up, twist it, put it back on over here. This uh, this gives a little bit more stretch um, on your, the bottom edge than a knit cast on does. Knit cast on is not terribly stretchy. All right, which is good when you need something an edge that's nice and stable. Okay, we've gone between our stitches. We're going to wrap around, and we are going to. Through, and lift, twist, and set back on the needle. We'll do a few more. We've got four on here because the slip knot doesn't count. All right, we're going to go between our stitches. We're going to wrap around counterclockwise. We're going to lift, pull that stitch through, and lift it up, twist it, and set it back on. We're going to go between our stitches. We're going to wrap around counterclockwise. Pull that through. Lift, twist, set it back on. We're going to go between our stitches. And we're going to counterclockwise. Bring it back through from between. Lift, twist, set it back on the needle. See how we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do three more. We're going to go between the stitches. We're going to wrap counterclockwise. We're going to bring that forward, lift it, twist it, and set it back on. We're going to go between our stitches. We're going to wrap counterclockwise. And bring that loop forward. Lift it, twist it, set it back on the left, and one more. Between the stitches, wrap, bring that loop forward, lift it, twist it, and set it back on the needle. And that's all there is to it. And this makes a very nice, very pretty little um, cast on that has has a nice little um, kind of a rope edge to it and I think you'll like that one it's a really great versatile this is a really great cast on to use when you're casting on in the middle of a project for buttonholes or where you or an armhole maybe where you've cast off some on one row and then you're casting back on on the other these are great for adding stitches in the middle of a row where you want a little like a buttonhole thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you soon